be the impact is, is that, you know, if you're a pediatrician, um, and you were a pediatrician beginning in 1980, the three bacteria that you worried about most when you saw a child with fever were Haemophilus influenza type B, the pneumococcus, and the meningococcus. Countries who are using Haemophilus type B vaccination have seen the virtual disappearance of this disease. Countries that are using the pneumococcal uh, vaccine, there's been more than a 90% reduction uh, in disease due to, due to that, which leaves the meningococcus, which actually, for most pediatricians, was the most worrisome uh, of all because the disease can evolve so quickly. You can be perfectly healthy in one minute and be dead literally in two hours. Uh, so for something that evolves that quickly, you know, more quickly than you can treat it, obviously the best approach is to, to prevent it. The, the capsule of the meningococcus type B cross-reacts with human tissue, uh, to be exact, human heart tissue and human nervous tissue. So even if you induced antibody, uh, you would run the risk of causing serious disease, heart problems or neurologic problems in, in a uh, potentially relatively high percentage of individuals who receive the vaccine. So that would be dangerous because uh, the disease, although it's very severe, is relatively uncommon. And if so what uh, Novartis did, and it's really very clever, and I suspect they'll win the Nobel Prize for this, eventually if this vaccine works, uh, is that they took the whole genome of the bacteria, all the genes in the bacteria, and then expressed all the proteins that uh, could be made, of which there are about 350. And then looked to see which of these were on the surface of the bacteria, because if they're not on the surface, an antibody to that really can't kill or get out the bacteria. And there are about 30 of those that existed, and then they took the, by testing these in, in mice, we were then able to identify the three uh, that were the most immunogenic, that provided the broadest protection, and then combine that again with the outer membrane vesicle that's been used in other vaccines in Cuba and other areas where it has worked, and that's really uh, the vaccine.